Are you in every way, woman? Welcome back. I want to continue the conversation, Madison. You're yes. saying. So I, what I was saying is, is that um, I was telling this to another a, a divorcee. And I had said, no, I never want to get married again, but I'm dating someone. I think he's really great, and I don't think he wants to either. And she kind of took a step back and said, why? Why would you not expect that he have some kind of legal responsibility for you to make sure that you're taken care of when you get older, when you're not, you know, when your time has come? And why wouldn't he expect that from you? So it gave me a different perspective on that as well. You know, there is that legal thing. Who's well, taking care of who? In you know, in 2008, when the economy crashed, a lot of families crashed as well because they were both legally responsible for each other and on each other's credits. When one lost their job and went bankrupt, it hurt the entire family. Yes. I mean, is that a reason to possibly avoid legally getting married? I think some people use that as a reason, um, but ultimately, if you're a team, you're a team. Right. Mm -hmm. and That's it, the truth. Yeah. My credit got messed up with my ex. <laughs> <laughs> She was saved through right. marriage. Probably, yes. Well, I, I wanted to talk about in kind of moving onto a new leaf, being a stay-at-home mom. And I know you were a stay-at-home mom for some years, weren't you? Yes, for a long time. For a long time. How I'm long? Probably still a stay-at-home mom. Um, for about eight years. Is that what you wanted to do when you became a mother? No. I think I wanted the whole career. I wanted to be in D.C. listening to jazz music, drinking wine, laughing. <laughs> and I didn't get that. I got married and I, <laughs> life went bloop. I had my daughter and um, fell in love with her, you know, and, and, and the whole family thing. But I still strive for my career. But now it's more like, okay, it was so important. I, this is so crazy. I took her to school. I was working for a fashion designer mm -hmm. and I took her to school and it, you know when you work do fashion it's overnight sure. it's long hours and I took her to school I picked her up and she could sit up and they were like oh Miss Love she has one tooth and I was like Hoo! and I took her Aww. out of school quit the job and everything and I was like yeah, get off <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm Cheryl, do you think when me. you become a mom that you would sideline your career? Cheryl's anti-kids. What did, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> She's anti-kids. I'm sure I love the babies. And I know that I'm going to love mine. Uh, but, I mean, I grew up in a household where I had a working mother. And quite frankly, I, I spent a lot of time on my education. I spent a lot of time, you know, in the workplace trying to build myself a career I'm not willing to have done all of that in vain. You know, mm -hmm. I have goals that I want to accomplish. I don't think that would ever be in vain because it's made you the right. woman you yeah. are. You know what, that's true. You know, but then how do I demonstrate to my little girls, you know, my well, little girls, you might that, okay. So okay, I, and how do I demonstrate to my son, you know, the kind of woman that he should be striving to try to, uh, you know, try to meet, you know, someone who is driven, someone okay. who, is, who has yes. goals. And However, who, I want you to keep you know, in mind, Sarah, that one mm -hmm. of the things that you're doing when you have children is you are raising a person, yes. right? Yes. And um, who are you putting in charge of raising your person, your people, if you aren't there? Well, you know what? That's something I'm going to have to face. I'm, Absolutely. Know, I, I, that's a sacrifice. So, I'm but, but, but is it I, because, I, see, for me, I, I, I mean, I, yes, I'm a working mom, mm -hmm. but it is not my ideal. If I, I, I firmly believe that children need their mothers and their fathers, but they need their mothers primarily, right? Nature designed that Absolutely. way yeah. until about five or six. Mm -hmm. Not saying that you can't ever go back to having a career, but there is a certain point where their informative years are there. You know, and I thought I have guilt. I, I swear I have guilt about putting my kids into care of someone else's care. Because they are learning somebody else's values. Mm -hmm. They are learning somebody grateful. else's my habits. Mother, and you know what? I'm learning. at home. And, and I'm really grateful she did because we have such an unbreakable bond. But even then, I thought, well, I want a career. And maybe I'll let my mom kind of look after my kids. And the older I get, I think, like, like you're saying, Madison, I want to be the one who yeah. helps guide that little right. person who sees, you know, the and world. Say, and I, 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 you know, but they, something. I enjoy going to the PTA meetings. Mm -hmm. I enjoy knowing that I'm bringing cupcakes and I'm helping the class. And even though in, in, to my mom, she was like, why are you doing that? Mm -hmm. I, I would give it up any day and I still do it now. I still, every job that I do find, that I do try to work at, yeah. I still try well, to make Anna, sure that I have time for my children. I had a working mom. 
So she was, you know, working. Both parents were working. Mm -hmm. But for me, like, I just don't want to change diapers. You know what? Oh, you're going to pay somebody for that. I'm just saying. You know, I don't mind changing diapers, but I'm sorry. I need intellectual stimulation. And and just trying to transform. Hang on. Hang on a minute. I'm going to go crazy. You don't know. You can read a book. At the end of the day, you can read a book. Adult conversation. You know? You have a partner. You have a partner, right? For you, it doesn't necessarily work. Thing is, you, you don't can't assign yours to no, me. No, no, I'm not saying that. But you know, if your career comes first, there's nothing wrong with choosing to have a career over having a family. Mm. There's absolutely nothing, nothing wrong with that. We'll be right back with more Every Way Woman. <laughs> too pink? Too purple? Too much coral? How do you find that perfect red lipstick just for you? We'll find out next when we come back. Are you an Every Way Woman?